So we already discussed on how to solve the first question using the make capital method. Now we will look into the second question, which is related to the Ponchon Saverit method. So if you see the pattern here, the question uh, giving us the VLE diagram data in the form of table and enthalpy concentration data in a form of table. So this means that we have to plot the uh, diagram into a, a, a graph or a curve. So our first curve will be the VLE curve and our second curve will be uh, containing the enthalpy saturated liquid curve and enthalpy saturated vapor curve. So we jump straight into the question again. So if you see that uh, the question is mentioning the first component annexin, this means that the value or the more volatile component will be our annexin. And since N octane is mentioned uh, lastly, okay, so 60 mol percent will not be used in the calculation. So our fit, we will take the 40 percent and overhead product at the distillate is mentioned here is containing 90 mol percent hexane. So hexane is mentioned again. So our XD is 90 mol percent. So I'm going to make a note here. So this is our XF. So distillate, this is our XD. And lastly, should be our XB, 10%. So you can see the pattern lah, from lowest to the highest. So the lowest is XB. In the middle is our XF. And the, the largest small percentage is on the XD. So uh, question number 2A, explain the term reflect ratio. So this for to answer this one, you have to look into the notes. And actually in the notes, uh, they are not exactly mentioned the definition of reflux. So you can take the definition here. So I'm going to, I will make sure that the question that appear in the test one will be, will use the same question and answer that you can find in the notes. So let's say we change the question. What is the definition of minimum reflux ratio? So this will be your answer. Lah. The minimum reflux ratio or R mean is the lowest value of reflux at which separation can be achieved. So if you want to still define the reflux, uh, reflux uh, what is the reflux means? So reflux basically, okay, the ratio of uh, liquid okay, divided by the distillate okay, because our distillation column is basically like this we have condenser and part of the liquid that is condensed here will be discharged okay, in the form of D okay, this is the mole, mole of D and some portion will be recycled into the distillation column okay to help the evaporation process or the distillation process so this is the l so the ratio of liquid okay actually this is the value of mole okay going into the back into the distillation column divided by the mole of discharge at the distillate is equal to the reflux or you can say that reflux is l divided by D the order still it. So that is the question which will give a uh, two marks. So the question to be solve the number of stages using using the Ponchon Savarit method. So to solve this, you have, you firstly you need to plot the uh, these two diagram. So you copy and paste the data into the Excel. Okay, let's say I use this kind of Excel. 
So the VLE data, I will copy straight into this uh, Excel. You make the same column, X and Y. And then if you want to plot the diagram, you simply highlight the all the area and the title of X and Y here. And click insert, click on the scatter part here, and click on the second uh, menu. So since our graph is pretty small, so I will increase the size. Normally, I will increase to 5 to 7 inches. Okay. So it is the right uh, kind of size lah to plot the stages later. Okay, secondly, we will copy the data for the enthalpy saturated liquid okay, and enthalpy saturated vapor. So, the first column is missing in the question. I'll make sure the actually you need these three columns lah to plot the second diagram. So, maybe I will have, have missed out the data here. I will put it later lah. So same again, you highlight all the data okay, from the title to the values and click insert and click on the scatter, click on the second menu and make the graph slightly bigger to help our drawing process later on and also make sure that the graph distance for example, the distance between 1 okay, to 1.2 is directly um, parallel. It's parallel to the one we have below, in the diagram below. So normally, I will put a line. I will insert a line just to help me align those two diagram. Make a straight line. Okay, and then enlarge the width of the line a little bit. Okay, so right now the point one point two is already parallel. Okay, so copy the line and put it at the zero, x equal to zero. So you can see right now it's not uh, actually straight. So you have to drag the graph a little bit to the left. Okay, now the distance between each point zero, from 0 to 0 0.2, you can see that it's already uh, parallel. Okay, so you can remove these two line. So this is the first part lah, to plot the diagram. And make sure that you insert the graph with the right amount of spacing. Okay. For example, uh, okay, you can see the small point uh, between 0 and 0 0.2. Okay, so apply the same technique with the second diagram. Okay, make the small point appear. Okay, so in this case, the small point is also parallel to the one on the top and the bottom. So the question is asking us to solve the number of stages using Ponchon Savarit method. So firstly, we need to locate the three line. Hey, sorry, sorry, we need to locate the three point. Okay. So, so the first point is XF intersecting with the the bottom one. The blue line is for the enthalpy saturated liquid. So you mark this intersection clearly and then you have to determine the point D, D prime. The D prime is the one with the small symbol on the head. So this is the pre D prime symbol. So how to determine the D prime? So we will use the reflux ratio equal, uh, equation. So firstly, we also need to determine HV1 and HD. Okay.
सॉरी है सो डिटरमिन द टू डिटरमिन द पॉइंट डी प्राइम सो फर्स्टली यू नीड टू ड्रॉ द वर्टिकल लाइन फर्स्ट ला सो राइट नाउ आवर क्वेश्चन इज गिविंग एस द थ्री वर्टिकल लाइन एक्स बी इज एट जीरो पॉइंट वन and then our xf 0.4 and our xd is 0.9 so i already make the vertical line here 0.1 0.1 is basically in the middle lah between 0 and 0.2 and then 0.4 and lastly 0.9 so the point d prime must must be at the xd vertical line and then we need to determine the hv1 so hv1 is basically the enthalpy at the intersection here enthalpy of saturated vapor curve okay you read the value on the x axis okay make a line straight to the left so you will get uh, 11600 okay and then make a line from this intersection between enthalpy saturated liquid to the xv vertical line okay draw a line straight to the left and then you read the enthalpy value okay the enthalpy value should be between 2000 and 4000 in this case uh, my value is 3000 for the hd okay so after you get the hv1 and hd The one you are interested to find is HDR. So the flat ratio is already given in the question, which is one point five. So you insert the HV1 value eleven thousand six hundred. Okay, HDR minus HV1 divided by HV1 eleven thousand six hundred minus HD. Okay, which is point here at the bottom. So HD is three thousand. So HDR is twenty four thousand six hundred. Sorry, five hundred. So right now I'm zooming my Excel at one hundred and fifty percent. So since our HDR is slightly exceeding the Y axis, uh, maximum point. So our maximum point in this graph is eight eighteen thousand. So since our HDR is slightly above eighteen thousand, so we have to use the ratio between this small point and the distance between eleven eighteen thousand to twenty four thousand five hundred. So the distance between eighteen thousand and sixteen hundred sixteen thousand is basically one centimeter. Okay, you have to put a ruler lah between these two point, and the enthalpy distance is two thousand. So the same thing apply on the top point. So the distance between twenty four thousand five hundred and eighteen thousand is three point two five cm. Okay, from our ratio lah. So to calculate this. 3.25 cm. So our distance for enthalpy is 24,800. We minus to the maximum point here, which is 18,000. So we get the distance between these two points on the enthalpy side is 6,500. So 6,500 is equal to what centimeter? So we will equal to the ratio of two thousand divided by one cm. This is this distance between these two enthalpy points. Okay, the distance, okay, for this two point is ah in the enthalpy term is two thousand enthalpy. In the distance value is one centimeter. So we have to make sure that the Our ratio is the same unit lah. For example, two thousand divided by one cm. So on the right side should be six thousand five hundred divided to cm. So we can solve for the cm, which is three point two five. 
so mark this point and then make a straight line to the uh, point xf until it reach at the bottom vertical lines so this is our b prime point so now we will start making the stages for the first stage uh, we will make a vertical line from xd 0 0.9 and then make a line to the left after you touch the uh, top diagram 45 degree line and then from this point you have to draw another line to the bottom since we begin at the enthalpy saturated vapor so we will end our line at the enthalpy saturated liquid so we can start drawing our stages first we connect these two points from enthalpy curve enthalpy liquid curve to the enthalpy vapor curve at the top eh? so this one is liquid this one is vapor and then make a reference line because if we want to complete the stages we have to make a triangle okay like a sharp teeth eh? you can see from from this side you can see like a sharp teeth and then our stages i will use the red line so this is the line to complete the first stage so the first stage is uh, on this side Okay, on the on the top part and for the second stage uh, you repeat the same step as the first stage okay make a vertical line from the enthalpy saturated vapor okay like this and then after it touch the 45 degree line make a line to the left and make a line to the bottom until it touch the liquid curve And then start uh, drawing the stages. Okay, connect the vapor to the liquid point. And since our um, stages, okay, you can see that it already exceeding the. Uh, this is the actually the fit line. Uh. Okay, so we have to use the B prime as the reference point. Okay, to draw the uh, the green line here. Okay, because we need to complete the triangle to make the uh, to draw the second stage. So this is our reference second reference line. The first one, the first line we use the D prime, and then complete the stages using red color. Okay, like I did last time, and then begin drawing the third stages from this point on. Okay make a line to the left and make a line to the bottom which is the uh, liquid liquid curve and connect between vapor and liquid curve and then make a reference line again and complete the third stage using the red line color and at the last stage same things happen uh, it should be slightly exceeding the bottom point so our xb is 0 0.1 right so right now is the stages is uh, the reference line is slightly exceeding this xb so according to poncho savary method for the last stages we don't need to the to make a vertical line again after it exceeding the xb point so make a uh, red, red line straight okay from enthalpy vapor curve to the enthalpy saturated liquid curve on the xb point and then complete the last stages directly on the xb vertical line so this will be our last stages for poncho savary method so you have to repeat the question uh, if you want to master how to draw the diagram okay and stages so in this case our stage is four stages okay to answer the question locate the actual location of each stage 
So our fifth stage is at the stage number two. Okay, because the first stage uh, is using the uh, the D prime as the reference, but since the second stage uh, partially using D prime and partially using B prime as a reference, so it is the fifth stage. And the second point is actually because the blue line, ah, actually the stage number two is intersecting with the blue line. Blue line is for the fit line. Okay, that's all for Ponchon Sabarit method. Okay, to solve question number two. Thank you.